Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we're going to talk about some of my bread and butter bolos, items that I sold on eBay for a profit. These, a lot of them are easier to find everyday items that you might walk past. So let's get started here with the first one. It is this cookie cutter. It's a cookie cutter. It's by Richard Scary, 1977. And it's the um, Apple Hallmark Cards Busy Town Worm, Lowly Worm. That's what it looks like, guys. Now, this did take a little longer to sell. I did get it at an estate sale. It was thrown in with some other items I bought. So my cost of goods was nothing. And I sold this for a best offer of $14. And the buyer paid shipping, making them all in for $21.05. This is a Disney Store Animators Collection Little Brother Mulan. I guess it's from the movie Mulan. And it says, I got it at a garage sale for three bucks and I sold it for $15.56. I'm sorry, $15.50. The buyer was all in for $26.05. And I think what's important about the all in price is really seeing what the buyer is paying for the item with tax and with shipping. Here is a Kelly Toy Green Dinosaur Triceratops Baby Rattle Plush Stuffed Animal. Got this at the Goodwill Bins where you pay by pound, so probably about a buck in this. Sold it for $13.64 and the buyer paid shipping. This one here was purchased by Pinky's Secondhand Shop. Um, actually, I think it's Pinky's Secondhand Store. And she is a great support to the channel. And I just think it's so funny that she picked this little cutie up. I saw this at a garage sale. I got it for a dollar. And I was like, oh my goodness, have you ever seen anything so funny? Just a little guy. The hair is crazy. So I don't know what she's doing with that. I don't know if that's going to be her little buddy that sits there while she ships or if um, she's going to sell it. But isn't it cute? So cute, sold for $24.80 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Tommy Hilfiger pink striped bunny rabbit lovey plush stuffed animal. And I just thought this one was super cute and figured somebody would scoop it up. I got it at the Goodwill bins. It sold for $18.60 and the buyer paid shipping. And it did have some condition issues. I did launder it and the stains did not come out. So I just pointed them out as you can see here and the items so, still sold. So can you sell items with defects? Absolutely. Just make sure you disclose it. I put stain in the title. Fabric, 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 fabric. I don't really like selling fabric because I don't want to measure it. So what I did was I picked up a whole bunch of fabric at an estate sale. And this is what I did. I just made piles of like items. So this was all red. This was another red and I think it was like a polka dot pattern. Yeah, there you go. This was a big one. I did measure it. It was 41 by 202. And, you know, I included wrinkled in the title with imperfections. And this was fabric that could be good for Valentine's Day. Most of it had little hearts and fun things on it like that. And I just laid it out. Uh, same person bought all of these. One set sold for 35, the other set 35 and one for 15 and combined shipping on those. And that is a viewer of the channel. So thank you so much for your purchase. I appreciate that as well. The next one is this Fisher Price Elephant. And I got this in a thrift store mystery box. It was a toy box. Haven't got any of those in a long time. I know I used to buy those all the time, but I've been focusing more on jewelry over on whatnot. So um, I am going to have some toy shows on whatnot. So I hope you guys will follow me over there. I am Bolo Buddies. There's a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop when you join whatnot with that. There's also a seller's link um, if you want to sell on whatnot. So check both those out down below. But I sold this little guy for $7.44 and the buyer was all in for $13.50. The next one, Blaze and the Monster Machine Flip and Race Stripes 2-in-1 Truck. Got this at a thrift store for $0.50, cents, and I sold it for $15.50, and the buyer paid shipping. These are Mattel Matchbox Big Boots action figures, and I think I figured out what these were with Google Lens. If you guys don't use Google Lens, definitely check it out. It is free, 
And I do have a video on that. Bolo Buddies, Google Lens, and the YouTube search. It'll pull it up. It's a free service. It is going to help you so much with identification. I sold these for a best offer of 10 and the buyer was all in for $19.40. And I got it at a garage sale for $0.50. Cents. These are Paw Patrol badges. And I knew when I saw these, they were going to sell. I picked them up at the Goodwill bins. I grabbed them all. These are the little attachments that hook on. And I got these at the Goodwill bins by weight. So probably a buck or two. And I sold it for $26.37 plus shipping. And if you guys want to see how I source at the Goodwill bins, type in Bolo Buddies Goodwill bins and you will see me digging through the Goodwill bins, pay by weight, super fun videos. And I have definitely found some treasures at the bins. So check those out. This is a Gerber teether, definitely vintage, nostalgic. And I picked this up at an estate sale in bulk. So probably less than a dollar in it. And I sold this for $22.75 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Rescue Bots tow truck, and I got this also at the Goodwill bins, and I sold this for $13, and the buyer paid shipping. So the Rescue Bots, there's tons and tons of variations of these. Some sell for more than others. Definitely look them up if you see them. A lot of them are long tail, but some of them, again, can go in the $20 to $30 range, some of the special ones. This is a Papo horse, P-A-P-O horse from 2009. It's a harder to find horse. Again, it just comes down to look everything up and decide if it's worth your time. I sold this for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. I got it at the bin. So my cost of goods was probably a dollar or less. To me, that's totally worth it. To you, it may not be. A lot of people want to sell things for at least $20. Let me know down in the comments, where do you guys like to be at as far as price points? Again, with toys, they're easy to list, easy to ship, easy to find, and I and they're fun. They're fun. I love selling toys. This is Eeyore. It's the Holiday Disney Store Eeyore Plush Reindeer, 16 inches. Got this at a garage sale for five, and I sold it for $29.25, and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys. So those were just some of my bread and butter items. And again, I'll go back to saying easy to find, easy to list, easy to ship. I like those types of items. I'm not a big breakable seller. Um, if you want to see items that are breakable that sell, I do have a um, Facebook group where I feature bolos from other sellers. And a lot of people do sell breakables. And those are big money bolos. So if you want to check out those videos, uh, there's a whole bunch on my YouTube channel. So check those out. If you're interested in selling plush, I've got a bunch of videos on stuffed animals that sell for big money. Most stuffed animals are long tail. They take a while to sell and they're bread and butter, which means they sell for $35 or less. That's my bread and butter. That's what I consider bread and butter. Um, everybody's definition of bread and butter, again, is different. and. Um, so if you want to share a bolo, you can go over to the Facebook group. There's a link down under my link tree and uh, share that. But I want to share with you guys something that I just bought. And I got this on Whatnot. And you guys know that I love owls. This is a custom ring. Isn't it gorgeous? It is so pretty. Do you see it? It's an owl. I just adore it. Little purple eyes. Love the color purple. But anyway, if you're looking for a custom made ring, um, look how cute. I got this on whatnot. So again, custom made, Painted Frog made it. And they don't know I'm shouting them out. I just love to shout out people when I find awesome things. And I just love this. This is the second ring I've bought from them. And I have another one that they're making right now. Um, I really like the custom item. So it's Painted Frog, lowercase, all one word, spelled just like it sounds. And check them out if you want something custom made. It's awesome. And then Seem So Vintage has the hats, you know, that I usually wear. And she's having an all handmade item show in November. So make sure you follow that. Seems So Vintage. Check her out. And what else, you guys? Uh, the Whatnot link is down below. You can use that $15 to shop. That's my referral link if you use that to join. And you can go over to Painted Frog or Seems So Vintage. I like that they both do custom-made things, so check them out. And thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know if you have any questions. There's also some other referrals, different things that I use for my business. Um, 
check those out down in the description of the video. And thanks for watching. Oh, it's thunder. <laughs> My pup. Come here. Hey, Willow, come here. I was going to see if I could get her to say hi, but I don't know if she's going to do it. Hey, Willow. Hey, come here, girl. Nope. Come here, girl. Willow. Nope. She's too worried about the thunder. Maybe you guys will see her in another show. She's getting so big and she just got a haircut. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you over on Whatnot.